just because you got money doesn't mean you should be the fucking boss. Let me repeat this shit. Just because you have money doesn't mean you gonna be a good boss. It don't mean you a good leader because you got money. Oh, um, leaders and bosses have a lot of motherfucking responsibility. Then uh, the nigga who read it on the about the six nine, right? He 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 had the money. Was he a good leader? Fuck no. Was he a boss? Hell no. When the wrong nigga gets power, when the wrong nigga gets power, the wrong person gets power, right? Most of their crews gonna end up dead in jail. This shit a well known fact. When the wrong leaders get in, the wrong person get money, he become a boss, and you know he a bitch. You know he a sucker. You know he a lame, but you gonna follow up behind him because he got the bag. You know, uh, right now we in a time where he got the bag. He got the bag. Get the bag. Uh, and this shit, gonna, you going to end up just like uh, that nigga in D.C., uh, Wayne Perry. He's fucking with Alpo because Alpo had the bag. He's a real goddamn stepper, real killer. But he following up behind Alpo, knowing what to hear Alpo tell him to do because he got the bag. A nigga doing a million years. Them blood niggas who was falling up behind 69, million years. Um, Suge Knight. I, I like Suge Knight. Uh, smart businessman. What, what is his crew at? What Suge Knight? What Death Row at? Niggas dead, niggas in jail. Including him. Everybody that gets the money does not need to be the leader. Everybody that gets their bag doesn't need to be the boss. Oh. Uh, it's just fuck everything up, bro. It'd be worse than, than you was when you was broke. And you was fucked up and you was stuck in the hood. You would rather have stayed stuck, broke, fucked up in the hood than the guy with the wrong fake ass boss or the fake ass leader. Stop running behind these fuck niggas, bro. Your life gonna be. Who want to ball for six, seven, eight months and lose their life? Who want to ball for two, three years and, and, and you now you're doing a life sentence? This shit don't make sense. It's not adding up. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm coming from you from a nigga who been outside, not no nigga who's in the house. I've always been outside. You can ask my mama. You can ask my grandma. Been told and fat. God damn it, up the foul the nigga ass in front of my grandma. She can grab my hand so I won't blame a nigga ass. So I been outside. You can ask any nigga who know me, anybody who know me, woman or dude. I was outside from fighting, losing fights, winning fights, the got jumped, uh, all that. Holding, holding spots down. Everything, just being outside doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I ain't talking about like I was the biggest gangster. I ain't said none of this shit, but I was always outside. Uh, as they call it now. I seen a whole lot. I'm down there 40 years old. I seen a whole lot. Uh, and you young rappers and young niggas getting money. Uh, I got some things to touch on y'all about. But get away from these niggas here because they got the money out of the bag, bro. I'm niggas going to get you, going to end your life. God damn it, you're going to be in jail. <laughs> Stupid ass niggas with money.